Welcome back. Today we're gonna focus on some agility tra training uh, to improve your speed, to improve your stability, your coordination, and your strength. Are you excited for today's exercise? Let's jump in together, dive in together, and do as much as you can. Let's go. Let's start warming up your body uh, with the crossover lunges. This requires focusing um, coordination, stability, strengthening your uh, gluteus maximus, your quads, your hamstrings, and your calves, muscles, to get your blood flowing as you uh, progress slowly into the agility workout today. Slow and steady with the uh, control tempo is crucial to help um, activate those muscles. As always, remember to have some fun, um, enjoy your workout routine. Keep in mind that you are uh, creating a, a healthy habit for your mind, your body, um, and your overall health that will give you that um, you know, stable and happy life. Push yourself through the last few reps here. Um, as you can feel that the muscles start to begin to peak. Don't give up. As we uh, transition into the agility dot, is to include multiple kind of coordination, body weight control, uh, balancing. It's great to get your heart rate up and going, increase blood flow. Create a connection between your mind, uh, your body, your muscles, and your coordination is crucial to um, help you focus with each of your uh, training and workout. Start out um, as a slow pace and then slowly progress with each uh, training and with each lateral movement and jumps. After the lateral jump, you want to increase the um, level of difficulty by creating a, a square and an X pattern. This way is require a lot of coordination and control. Slow and steady uh, is crucial. When you first uh, start out with exercise uh, like this, Just visualize the um, gains that you will um, benefit from each of this exercise. Push, push your body to the test. With each of the variation is always good to try to perform between five to ten reps each um, on each leg. The single leg um, is a little bit harder because it's require a lot of balancing and coordination. If you feel comfortable starting out with um, two legs, start out with that way and then slowly progress into the single legs. Then slowly uh, transition into the single leg lateral jump and variations of the patterns. Great work everyone, keep up the good work. You are make, making a, a major commitment to improve your uh, overall health. If you need to catch a breather uh, in between the agility dot and the burpee, um, take about 10 to 30 second break in between. Uh, 
for your muscle to recovery. The benefit of the burpee are great because it's help activating your arm, your back, your chest, um, your legs, your butt muscles. It's also help um, increase the blood flow and increase the heart rate um, to keep uh, that sweat coming. Slow and steady and control movement is highly recommended to prevent risk of injury. Perform this exercise between 1 to 3 sets and between 5 to 20 reps. Pick a number of reps and exercise that you feel comfortable with. Immediately after the burpee, we uh, progress straight into the body weight squat. This is a great um, exercise to tone your butt muscles, uh, help burn fat, um, and improve your posture, enhance blood circulation, body movement and control. Keep up the good work. You are doing great. Follow along as you can. Count down the reps in your mind. Immediately follow with the high knees. It helps again increase circulation throughout your body, increase that heart rate and blood flow. Help you release that dopamine create that overall circulation. In between high intensity exercise, um, I incorporate in the clock lunges to help give your body um, some break in between. This is great strengthening the power on your ankles as well as the, the knee joints. Uh, why activating uh, your gluteus max maximus muscle, um, strengthening your quad, your hamstring, activating your hips and your thighs muscles as, at the same time. Complete one clockwise and one counterclockwise um, clock lunges give you that much needed in between rest. Let's pick up the intensity again here. Um, following this ice skating exercise ice skating help um, improve your balance your coordination when you're first starting out um, your hand and your feet coordination is a little bit tricky but slow down and follow that pattern move your your arms the same direction um, as you move the foot backwards. Nicely done. Keep up. Focus. Increase the intensity uh, slowly again with the alternating uh, jumping lunges. This is great to keep the blood flow going. It helps strengthen the lower body. Um, give you that power, give you that dynamic stability and coordination. When this is done correctly, it helps activate the gluteus muscle. When this is done correctly, it helps activate the butt muscle, the quads, the hamstring, the hip flexors, as well as the pad. With 
the lateral plyometric jumps, uh, it improves the overall hip, knees, joints, and ankle stability. It requires a lot of body coordination, uh, connection with your mind and your body in order to perform this uh, exercise efficiently. Starting out with uh, lateral one leg hop side to side and then increase the level of difficulty with the one leg hop over the uh, obstacle. Pick a height that you feel comfortable. Starting out with one box and slowly increase the height as you continue to challenge yourself and alternate uh, the legs. It's okay to perform the exercise um, working out um, is intending to create that overall blood circulation to help um, to benefit your overall health the fact that you are you guys are trying this is already beneficial so carry on with each exercising routine and trying to make improvement uh, slowly as you continue progress with each of the uh, routine and exercise. Forward and backward um, obstacle jumps require a lot of coordination, work out your overall body, give you that complete um, quad and uh, improving the gluteus maximus muscle. Let's improve, increase the level of difficulties here with the knee tuck jumps. This is going to help improve your landing um, techniques to help reduce risk of injury over time. Then we progress into the burpee with the tuck jump. This requires again a lot of focus, coordination, timing, control to help strengthen the entire muscle throughout your whole body. Pick a level uh, of reps that you feel comfortable doing. Starting out, I would recommend maybe try five reps uh, first and see where your body, how much your body can handle. Um, and then slowly increase the amount of reps and, and difficulties uh, to challenge your body for that personal growth and personal gain. They say, no pain, no gain. What you are gaining is a um, healthy body, a healthy mind, and a physical, as well as that physical appearance that you are aiming to achieve. Box jump is a great explosive training um, exercise. It's increasing your speed strength, it's increasing your uh, vertical jumping power. Working on your leg muscles, it's strengthening your core, and again, it helps challenging your coordination and balancing stability. To continue building your endurance, um, we add in the mountain climbing. Um, it, this is also help activating your core strength, your agility. It's pretty much working out your entire body again. Your, your chest, your legs. Adding in this surprise uh, kip up muscle here. My friend here is showing me um, a new exercise that I'm gonna give you a try. One leg squat straight into the tuck jump. Very first time trying it, give it a shot. And I'll also follow the friend here. Give it a shot. This is the more challenging uh, exercise here with the kneeling jump squat. Uh, this requires training, timing, explosiveness, power of your and your hip control, as well as the overall uh, body coordination. You guys did it! You guys made it through the exercise. For more future workout and exercise video, remember to subscribe and click on the playlist in the link below. 
as always, take care of your body, take care of your health, take care of your mind, and always take care of yourself. I will see you in the next video for more workout content.